How many common types of skinks are there? How many did they just tell us? For many of us, there's been someone or many someones in our lives who have been special and have changed the course of our life. Maybe someone talked to you about where to apply to college. Maybe someone talked to you about a career that you should consider or a talent that they saw in you. Well, that's what Cambridge School volunteers can do for their student. They provide individual one-on-one -on -one attention. What's going on? It's not their teacher. Oh, it's not their parent. It's someone else who cares enough about them to come in and make a difference. And you wouldn't believe what a difference that makes. There we go. Fourteen. Fifteen. My name is Sam Lasser, and I'm a computer scientist at a company here in Cambridge. I use quantitative skills at my job every day, and I wanted to spend some time helping kids in my community develop their own skills. My name is Kaden, and I'm in second grade, and I like my math shooter because um, it's really fun to do math, and when I get older, I'll be really good at math. Swooped and sword. Every year, Cambridge School Volunteers connects more than 1,000 volunteers with students. Swooped and sword. Who are they talking about? And 1,200 students benefit from having a one on one relationship with a reading buddy, a net pal, a college readiness mentor, so that in total, our volunteers give 52,000 hours of service during the school year. Uh, up until recently, I was a graduate student um, at Harvard, and now that I'm leaving graduate school and looking for opportunities to be involved in the community. So when I'm first meeting a new volunteer, there's a couple of things that I have in mind. Um, I want to get a really good understanding of what their academic skill is. What is their professional training? I've done SAT stuff before, college essay writing, I would do I could probably do most of the math stuff, except, mm -hmm. or maybe including calculus, um, and I speak Arabic, I don't know if that's... Oh, wow. Yeah. I think that they struggle with voice, right? Like, where do you put yourself into a piece? You can write in the first person. And first it might person. be helpful. Yeah. You know, you have some kind of style, you have some kind of swagger, you have some kind of way of talking to people, you have some kind of way of being, you know, asking questions, you know, dribbling a basketball, Whatever it is, you dressing, whatever you do, you have style. That sort of style, you can discover it as you write. Um, having John in the classroom allows us to do much more work, like the nitty gritty work of writing. It's clear to me you express yourself pretty well. They, I think, are much more open with him than they are with me. I can definitely tell if they've talked to him before me because they are much more confident about what they're doing, about their aims, about their thinking about the piece. <laughs> The College Readiness Program helps students to do their applications for college and because half of the students in the Cambridge Public Schools are low income, many of them are the first in their family to apply to college or they may be the first to apply to college in this country, which is very different than doing it in other countries often. I mean, what's the story? What's the story about? It's about friendship. So she asked you where you're from and you said? I was, I was from Iran. I, I said, I'm from Iran. Um, and she says? I was like, oh, really? <laughs> like, yeah, what happened? And she said, I'm from Israel. <laughs> like, right. it was like a silence moment. <laughs> One of the things I love about this job is that I get to facilitate these students telling their stories, and all of them have great stories. The problem is the kids believe that, oh, the school said they're going to give me a package. Mm -hmm and they don't understand how much of that is debt. So it's very easy, I think, when they're that age to just be like, they sign and it sounds great because I don't pay anything right now. <laughs> Three words come to mind when I, when I think about the Cambridge School volunteers. And those words would be commitment, belief, and community. About four years ago, the Cambridge Public Schools decided to reorganize the schools um, and to create four new large upper schools plus the Amigo School. And these five upper schools were going to change the way we did middle school education and they were going to emphasize equity and excellence. You are able to attend. Four years ago when we started the Learning Center programs, we thought, lucky us, we have hundreds of volunteers who give time throughout the school year. 
But how much time were they spending with our middle school population on a regular basis, mentoring and tutoring? We saw a real gap. We decided, looking at the high school tutoring center and modeling after that program, that we would want to provide similar services to our middle school students. Free after school tutoring. In the first few weeks of the program, we actually provide a few activities for the tutoring pairs to do together so they can get to know one another, so they can begin to build that trust that's so important with a one-to-one -one tutoring pair. Good. At the beginning, when we first got paired together, we had to say one word about ourselves, just one word, and the word that Mustafa chose for himself was curious, and that is the same word that I chose for myself, so I thought, oh, that's... So um, I think we're both curious about the world and learning. I come because um, I have my tutor, we work on homework, stuff that I struggle on in class, and it just helps me bring my grades up. And I actually, before I came here, I talked to my teachers, and they were like, it's, oh, it's great for you because it's gonna help me, my performer, my performing in class and everything. So that's why I come. And have you found that Susan has helped you? Yeah, I actually brought my grade up, and my teachers actually saw it, and they t they actually told me, "Wow, your grades are going up." I was like, "Yeah, I could. I, I put a lot of hard, hard work in it." All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what to do. Thanks for coming. Have a seat. And my name is Jay Mahoney. I'm a science teacher here at the Rinjab up of campus. The first thing you're going to do is open your NetPal letter that you drafted onto a Google Doc. Open up the Google Doc and you and your partner will proofread each other's work. The Cambridge School volunteers coordinate a NetPal program in which our students reach out to active professionals. Dear Ms. Riva, my name is Paloma Sequera and I'm a student at the Ringe Avenue Upper Campus. What do you do in your job? At first I thought you were a model, then I realized you make models about the way people travel. We want them to be exposed to the professionals in our community that are in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and to expose them to how to get to those jobs through education. Dear Mr. Wright, hello. My name is Gabriel Surfity. One of my favorite subjects in school is science, and that is why I'm looking forward to be working with you this year. What do you do as president of your company? You, sound, you seem like a very successful person. Hello, Gabriel. Thank you for your introductory email. I'm really looking forward to meeting you next week and being your net pal this year. I just wanted to say, I don't really know what I want to do for my science project for the science fair. And since you are my net pal, I thought maybe I could say some ideas and just bounce them off you. So here I go. Number one. Which liquid I really like size? your idea about experimenting to see if the density of objects changes when you put different substances in them. Hey Brad, how are you doing? Career-wise and life in general-wise? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, how am I doing career-wise and in general-wise? Uh, career-wise, I think I'm doing okay. The NetPals program has adopted a focus on science and has been embraced by the science department as a component of the seventh grade science curriculum. We are now embedded in the curriculum of three middle schools and our goal is to expand the program to all middle schools. I see CSV as the heart of the community. We are a place that connects students with adults who are caring, competent adults in all kinds of professional fields and where they can bring that caring to bear to actually help a student succeed in school. We can support the teachers, we can support the schools, and most importantly, we're here for the kids. Okay.